Hi guys, welcome to my Scottish Tooth channel. This is Robin and Daryl, and we're getting ready to open up jewelry jar number 160. If you see anything in this jar you want, please leave a comment under the comment section of the video with a timestamp, a minute and second with the colon in between so it turns blue and I can tap on it and go right to it, and a small description with the price. That is so that if you give me a timestamp that is in between items, I'm, I'll be able to tell which item you're wanting. If you've not done business with me before, please email me at myskywatch2 at gmail.com. Provide me the information here, my your PayPal email, your shipping address, your YouTube name, your name first and last, so I can connect it with your YouTube name and for the shipping purposes. We ship only in the U.S. and shipping is a flat rate of $5. Once you receive an invoice, you will see a $5 charge at the on the invoice for shipping. Now, how do we invoice? We invoice either at the first of the month or at $100 in your sales, whichever occurs first. And I do try to make it to the $100. Sometimes you go over the $100 before I get the invoice out. Um, the exception is that if you need something immediately, just tell me what it is you need. I'll invoice you, and once you pay that, we'll ship it out. Uh, we're going to do the jewelry jar roll. I'm going to give him his number. This is jewelry jar 160. This is a six pound 14 ounce. Mm -hmm. When we go to the store, this is what I do to the jars when the lady hands them to me. I do this number. I roll it on the counter over and over, probably five million times. And then I sit it up. And I'll look at it this way because just sometimes you get different perspectives. And then I'll look at the bottom of it. One thing I'm looking for too, does it have a lot of um, Mardi Gras or shell, you know, the shell pieces? Or does it look like it has a lot of jewelry? This one does look like it has a lot of jewelry. I think it was a good pick. But we're going to find out. Daryl's going to open the jar and pour it out. And while he's doing that, I'm going to show you a couple of pieces that I forgot to show you out of the last jar. Yes, I do make mistakes. Lots, no, you don't. Lots of them all the time. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Ooh, pretty. Now, let me see. No comments from the peanut gallery. Okay. <laughs> ugly. Nope. Sorry. Not ugly. It's pretty. This, we had a cross. On a chain. I think I've had several of these. It's got the uh, spring ring clasp. We'll do it for three dollars. It's in excellent condition. The chain and the cross. Pass yeah. it my way. Oh, give good. my bags back. Why are you gonna do it? Well, you don't have a pen. Okay, never mind. This one is stone. I think this is. Jade, I'm not sure though. I'm going to test it. It's on the screen wire, which I like that. I'm not sure. It's a little um, different. And there we go. It's not centered. And I don't know why. I'm going to make it centered. Yes, I am. Yes, you am. You know me, I can't stand it. It's uh, a nice piece of jewelry, so you know why don't they have it centered? She can adjust it, and that's good to know. Here we go. Oh, I'm almost got it there. There it is. That's center right there. So let's bring these down. Let's bring this down, and now we are centered. There we go. Those are beautiful pieces of stone. This one's even got pink and green. I'm not sure what that is. They're very cold. Hmm. Might be some kind of nephrite. Or jade. This one goes to jadeite. So this is. 
All of these are going to Jade Eye. Wow, that one almost went to Spinel. This one. Spinel and Jade Eye are on the same line. This one is just barely touching Jade Eye. Jade Eye. Yeah, all these. This is jade. These cubes are jade. Very cold. Very pretty. I'm going to do this for 10. That's just beautiful chunks of jade there. This is what I believe these to be. I'm not a gemologist. But I do use my Presidium Gem Tester, and it's going to the Jade line. I'm just Excuse me. kind of fascinated to, with this one here. Okay, we're back, and the next one is... Springwing Class. Cage Pearls Station. The um, necklace is gold toned. It's a little silver tone up here. It's kind of worn some. Still a very pretty little necklace. Great necklace for layering. We'll do that for two. pick them up. Use your magnet thing. Oh yeah, I forgot. No, I'm trying to get my stretching in, honey. Okay. Stretch. Good job. Okay. We have these two, and they're similar. These are cold, so let's see if that's glass or stone or whatever. Oh. It's more than whatever. Yeah. No, it's glass. I don't. It was hitting. I think the metal. Yeah, it's glass. So these are glass. Have glass pieces on them. Let's see what this one is. Hmm. This is a little agate, I think. Here glass. This has got blue cat's eye. So we're going to do these two together and we're going to do these for um, five dollars. We do have stone on these. And you have cat's eye and you have glass. Get a little bit closer if I can. We're going to go um, untangle, and we're not going to do it online for this video, so we'll be back in a minute. There you go. I was not sure that one get it ready, because it likes to knot itself up. Okay, we're back. So, the first thing I'm going to show you is paparazzi. This is their uh, copper line. It's not real copper, I don't think. But it's made to look like hammered copper. Nice organic loops. These are new. These sell for five dollars, brand new. So we'll sell these for three. Get the earrings and the necklace. You can't beat that for three. And you can add to those. You can use that as a base and then make your own jewelry with them too. The next piece is 
A ribbon necklace is in excellent condition, the ribbon. I also know that this is paparazzi. Because I know my paparazzi. Because I bought a lot of it. I like it. It's fun jewelry. Jewelry you don't have to worry about when you go on vacation. Um, we'll do this one for two. It's in excellent condition. And again, like I said, you can take these apart and make your own thing. Next necklace we have is pearls on a copper um, lobster claw clasp. These are cold, so I imagine they're glass. They're very pretty. Beautiful color. They're a reddish brown color. And the length on these are, well, the length is 17 inches. We'll do these for 10. Very pretty. This is very pretty. This is vintage. I love the uh, end caps on this. It's in excellent condition. It is a spring ring clasp. Three stranded pearl. Really, this is two stranded twisted here. And then your single strand. This little necklace is oops, right there. At the shortest length it is 17 inches. caps real quick. I'm going to do it for 10 carat. I'll bring it up so you can watch. seconds it's fading okay bye-bye okay it's disappearing so it's not gold but it took it a while so it's probably well gold plated I mean it's got something in it anyway anyway very pretty we'll do this little necklace for six dollars it's very pretty Next is a beautiful mother pearl. Here's the back. You see the floral design on the back? Very well made. Beautiful rope chain. Long rope chain. Has a lobster claw clasp. I'm going to measure it. We are having salmon tonight. It's 28 inches. This looks like a 1928 or Whiting Davis or it doesn't say that but all that's magnetic is still a beautiful pendant we'll do this one for 10 nice long chain next is this one and boy I had a necklace all wrapped around these things but we're missing some beads on this, but these got some nice pearls and beads like that. Really nice uh, findings here and a chain. We're going to put that in the Hobby Lot for a dollar if you want it. The next is a little leaf necklace. And it's got... Enamel with sparkling on top of it. There's the underside. It's on this gold herringbone chain. It's an old chain. It's got a lobster claw clasp. I mean, a spring ring clasp. I don't see any markings on it. 
I see something right there. It says Korea, so yeah, that definitely is vintage. And the length on this is 19 inches. And we'll do it for three. It's very pretty. Let's see something. Okay. Very pretty. Three dollars. Okay, thank you, honey. Welcome, honey. This is a beauty. Blue. These are glass beads. You have pearl chips that are dyed. And glass beads. Silver tone. Lobster claw clasp and extender. I love that it's four layers. It's very, very pretty. We'll do this one for five. Extender with a lobster claw clasp, nice thin chain, metal beads, faux pearl, I'm trying to figure out if they're glass, I don't think they're glass, more metal beads, more faux pearls, and it ends with the blue pearl at the end. This necklace is not extended. Not extended, it is. Thirty nine inches, and you have a two inch extender. It's in excellent condition, the beads are, and the pearls, and the and the metal will do this for five. Got nice weight to it. The next piece is lobster claw clasp and extender, curved chain, beautiful green beads, circles, three layers. We'll do this one for four. Very pretty. Excellent condition. It's attached to it. <laughs> the next ne necklace we have is a lobster claw class and extender. Love the Rolo chain on this. These are acrylic beads and metal beads. Comes down to this little tassel here with charms and beads we'll do that one for five nice stone piece open circles Textured Rolo chain, you have an extender with lobster claw clasp. The metal is in excellent condition. We'll do this one for four. It's very pretty. Here is a bib like necklace, sort of. Red beads and silver beads. Lobster claw class with an extender. This is in excellent condition. We'll do this one for four. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. Love this. Acrylic chain. Lobster claw class. Acrylic chain. Oh, okay. It's a chain. Honey. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yes, it is. 
I said, that, that chain looks awful silver to me. Was, <laughs> silver chain with a lobster claw clasp. Nice curved chain. Love this honey acrylic color. Very pretty. We'll do this one for four. Kind of silly hubby. Yeah. Lori's for her. Next is their mixed, mixed metal line. Paparazzi. Alright, what do we got going here? There we go. Very cute with the flowers and the little flower earrings. You just can't beat this. I mean, they sell these for $5. We're selling this for 3 Very cute. Nice weight to it, too. The next is a cord necklace. It's a very pretty glass pendant. It's blue in there. That's very pretty the way they've inset that into the glass. Beautiful silver tone curved bars. Um, leather or braided leather, faux leather, I'm not sure which, but it's soft. Lobster claw class with the bead. We're going to do this for five. It's very, very pretty. Here's the back. Excellent condition. Thank you. Here's some beads on some leather. Last time I sold some beads on some leather, they were worth a hundred bucks. And I think I sold them for $12.99. They were African dryable beads. I don't know if these are those. They are some kind of stone. So we'll go $12.99 again. What? $12.99. Okay, we'll go $12 then. Does Thank that you. make you happy? Yeah. Twelve. He doesn't like the 99 cent. There we go. You're going to oh, drive me oh, crazy, okay, okay. man. Oh, gosh. Hey, I work cheap, so I should. <laughs> I don't know about that. Here is a chunky bead paparazzi. Silver tone um, Rolo chain. It's got texture to it. Filigree balls, fasted beads, nice little matching earrings, and purple too. We'll do that for three. Work cheap, huh? And I cook too. Mm. <laughs> Yippy skippy. Thank you, honey. We have glass stone, stone chips, pearl, square pieces, more uh, glass. This looks like crack crackle glass. I think that's glass. That may be acrylic. These are glass. These are stone, halite, dyed halite. In the green, lobster claw clasp. It's in good condition. It is a you and die necklace. We'll do this for four. Next necklace we have is beautiful glass beads, lobster claw clasp with an extender with a complimentary bead that looks like crackled glass. Love this color of green. Makes me think of Margaritaville for some reason. I don't know why. We'll do this one for five. Beautiful. is very unusual. It's got a uh, toggle clasp. I don't know if that's anything on there or not. Little seed beads and crystals, brown crystals, and these are your glass beads here. And they're just really, 
very different. Very interesting necklace. Very pretty, well made. The links on this one is 25 inches. We'll do this real quick. Just I think it's silver, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a rub. Yeah, I think it is silver. Good. Definitely turn red. So it is silver, a silver toggle clasp. As you can see. We'll do this one for 15. Was it silver? Mm hmm Very beautiful. Let me put these up closer so they can really see them. Very unique. Oh, there's 925 on the class there. Duh. Didn't even see it. You just like to test. Yeah, don't test me. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a lobster claw clasp necklace. I don't know if this is paparazzi or not. If it is, it would go in their copper line. I've not seen this one, so if it is, it's newer. I like the pearls on it. Or somebody might have added the pearls on it. I don't know. Like I said, the paparazzis are great for designing your own jewelry, too. Let's see. It is 18, 19 inches fully extended. We'll do this one for three. These are some kind of stone. Let me see how they test. Well, honey, you just can't take get a break here. Uh, hubby's work is never done. This is testing jade. Jadeite. Yeah, 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 These little stones here. Gold beads. Pretty wood knotted beads. Let's measure it. It's 30 inches. And it's 15. Did you get that, honey? 15. Say what, honey? It's 15 whenever you come back. Okay. Thank you. The next necklace, necklace we have here is a lobster claw class extender with the bead. Beautiful silver tone end caps. Love the teal and brown bead design on this. You have stone chips in there, you have wooden beads, you have glass beads. Very, very pretty. This is bone here, dyed teal. We're going to do this one for six. Colored beads in between. This is a Claire's. Yes, it is. It's a Claire's. It's very cute. Lightweight. I'm going to fully extend it and measure it. And you can go ahead and fix a bag for it, honey, for five. Okay. Thank you very much. It is 18 inches fully extended. Really nice little piece. Let 
You better go answer the answer the, answer the oven. A answer the oven, honey. It's beeping at you. That's telling me the sound says, I'm done, I'm done. Does that mean dinner's done? Yep. Okay. Well, I'm going to show you this last necklace here. This looks like a Brighton. That design. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. The, the uh, fire alarm's going to go off. <laughs> Here is the Lobster Claw Classic, Cinder with the Bead. Always excitement in the brown house. Pretty end caps. That's beautiful. I'm looking for any markings. I don't see any. Mm, it's not magnetic. Of course, now Brighton usually is not silver. Yeah, this is copper based. Oh. <laughs> we will do this one for six dollars. It's gorgeous. The next is. Glass beads, I believe, on cord. Let me test to make sure they're not something else. Yes, they're glass beads. They've got a copperish uh, extender with a bead, lobster claw clasp. And just slightly magnetic. You see? This is, we're going to fully extend it and measure it. At the shortest point, it is 18 inches. Fully extended, 18 inches. These are all glass beads. We'll do this for five. Here's a blue stone necklace. It's dyed. It's very cold. I guess it's dyed. I don't know what kind of stone this is. It's very soft feeling. It's very cold. Fully extended it is. 20 inches. Nice cold necklace to wear in the summer. We'll do this one for five. Here's a beautiful old vintage necklace. Nice clasp. Pretty end caps. It's a box clasp. It's in good vintage condition. Got just a little bit of wear on the edges there. Honey colored and cream colored beads. Honey and cream. It's very pretty. Let's see how long it is. I'm looking for a name on it somewhere, but I don't see any. It is 23 inches. And this one will be $7. It's vintage. Very nice. Three stranded pearls here, all um, knotted. This is your clasp. You can see it's got a lot of wear on the clasp. Most of the gold is off, it's not shiny like it is right there. So somebody's loved it. 
Nice size pearls. Nice luster, no peeling. We'll do this one for seven. Five, five, seven, seven. Japan. These are beautiful. And it's got AB. Beautiful AB beads. Beautiful faux pearl design. The length that was shortest is 16 inches. We're going to do these for nine. Very pretty. Very good condition. Nine. Gotcha. Our next is a Ruby Road. The design for Ruby Road tag, lobster claw clasp. Still got the string from the price tag. Rollo chain. You've got glass, acrylic, metal, um, beautiful shell nuggets, open circle hammered pieces, glass pieces. These are very pretty. More glass pieces. It ends with this pretty red piece here. I believe that's acrylic. Those are glass and that's glass. So it gives it a nice weight but not too heavy. This is a long necklace. It is 34 inches. We're going to do it for eight. Beautiful red. And the next piece we're going to do is a bronze piece, bronze in color, lobster claw class extender with a bead. I know this is not paparazzi because, because they don't put beads on their extenders. You can put your own beads. Beautiful copper color, I mean, um, bronze color. Oval links. Magnetic. We're going to do this for five. It's in excellent condition. And we'll be back after we eat dinner. <laughs> 